Okay, uh, I'm going to tie my black parachute ant now. This is an unwinged version. Uh, fish the winged versions when there's, when there's flying ants around. And the rest of the time, I'll usually fish one that doesn't have a wing on it. Um, because there's always ants around. And trout love ants. So I'm just going to... I took the thread back into the bend and I'm just going to tie in a little chunk of Zelon here. I'm going to work that down into the bend. And grab a little bit of dubbing. This is uh, Harrop's Caddis Emerger Nymph dubbing in blackish brown. If you look at a black ant, they're not black black. They're kind of got a little different coloring to them. And this one seems to do a great job of mimicking that when it's wet. So I'm just going to dub that fairly thick. I'm going to build up a good sized gaster here. I'm going to start up in the front. Make sure that dubbing's tight. And work my way back and back forward and back all is trying to get that ant shape okay I'm going to take the zelon fluff it up a little bit so it covers that top half of the bump and I'm going to tie that down that helps here when you tie an ant Without that on there, a lot of times that gaster will slide off onto the back of the hook after you've cut a couple fish and then you got to cut it off and tie on a fresh ant. This way it lasts a little bit longer. Okay, just going to make sure that's real distinct there. And I'm going to come right to mid shank or so. Grab some antron for the post. I'm going to double that in half. Cut it, and I'm going to tie that thing in with at least four or five wraps. Okay, I'm going to post that up. Work my way back down. wrap behind there make sure everything's almost trapped that I got to back that out of there make sure everything's smooth behind the wing and I'm going to come around the front and make sure that my post is absolutely lined up with my hook come right to the front and I'm going to tie in a dark dun dyed grizzly hackle. Tie that in. And I'm going to start wrapping my parachute. Work my way up to the top. And I'll work my way back down. Trying to get each wrap underneath the last wrap. And with these yarn shoots, you can tweak it and twitch it any way you want. Just make sure that you get that last wrap of hackle underneath the one before it. Okay, got enough hackle on there and I'm just going to grab all that out of the way with my fingers. Make sure it's tied off good. Pull that out of the way, trim it, I'm going to carefully make sure that I got that stem all the way wrapped down, come up right to behind the eye, take just a little bit more dubbing, And 
I'm going to start to build my head up. Okay, then I'm going to come right down to uh, in front of where I tied off my hackle. I'm going to grab my whip finisher. And I'm going to whip from front to the back. And that'll tighten my head up and make sure that there's a good separation in between the head and the gaster, and it really shows off that ant waist. Okay, now just primp your hackle. Come in and give it a trim. And that's it. That's the ant. Okay.